now. So after 204 days in space, local astronaut Anne McLean is back on Earth this morning, Travis. Yeah, big deal. McLean and two other crew members undocked from the International Space Station, and they de descended, began their descent, locked and loaded or whatever. Three and a half hours later, this happened. Cool. The chute deployed, and there's the capsule. Wow. And then they touched down. And there it is, the moment that it actually wow. happened. That's in the remote Kazakhstan desert. Moments later, take you to the video. The recovery crew on the ground got there, pull her right out, and there she is, Anne McLean off with the helmet. And look at her, she's like all smiles. and like, yeah, that's right, we did this. Uh, journey back from Earth in this capsule has been described by like her actually as something like a washing machine. Oh wow. Inside one or like a roller coaster. So not comfortable. But apparently she was super excited. Uh, Elizabeth, our producer right now, was talking about the guy who landed before her, before in the break, and she was like, he didn't look so good. And I watched him, he was like super gray in the face, but oh. not Anne. Anne is super happy to be back on Earth, feet on solid ground. Shortly after a touchdown, McLean took this um, quote and shared it on Twitter. This is from T. S. Eliot. And here I'm gonna read it to you. And the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. Oh, I like that. Right? Which feels like all about like when you look back at home from where you've been, you realize how you amazing it really is. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So she currently lives in Texas in the Houston area, but all the families in Spokane. She went to Gonzaga Prep. Like oh, that's cool. where she grew up and dreamed. Is she coming of. back? Yes. The yes. plan is in August. Apparently, her mom did travel from Spokane. Was is in Texas, uh, waiting for her. If she's not already there, on her way there, I don't think she could probably have gotten there that quickly. I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah. I, I, I'm so excited for her because I know how important this was to her. Yeah. I mean, you spoke to her on oh our gosh. air. Oh my gosh. Such a cool thing. Such a cool thing. And also, I'm curious. I don't know. Maybe everyone knows this, but me, but. It's interesting. They always land in these very remote yeah. deserts. A lot of Kazakhstan. I wonder why that is. Um, I, I don't know the answer, other than they clearly need wide they open need space. spaces because uh, calculating this. So, um, you know, they have the ocean is sometimes a place where these these ah, things yes. happen, but the the desert is probably a safer spot. I'm glad it was it a safe yeah. landing. Absolutely. That's for sure. And when she comes closer to home, I oh. hope that she'll talk to us again. I, I, fingers crossed, yes. Yeah. I would love it if she came and sat on the blue couch with us. Uh, yeah. She is like my hero. That's like a, that would, yeah, a big celebrity. Oh. That'd be very cool. Yeah. Travis, thank Thanks. you. Bill, over to you. When we come back and